Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Bill Maher recently called uh, Kamala Harris an imbecile. He did? Well, he didn't use those words. Uh, he he was uh, alluding to it. He uh, he was a lot nicer when he said he said she was. Um, well, he's still kind of being being kind of kind. Call, I think he called her stupid. No, she's not stupid. He called her an ineffective politician. Ineffective. Yeah. He didn't call her stupid or imbecile. He said she was smart, but she's just a bad politician. Yeah, I don't even think she's smart. You don't think she's smart? Nah, the, the stuff that comes out of her mouth? Mm-hmm. She makes me look like Albert Einstein over here. Well, maybe she just one of those people that, you know, freezes up in public and say stupid shit. But behind closed doors, she sounds like Socrates. <laughs> All right, so Bill Maher said this on his show. Check it out. She is replacing me, vice president, because yeah, she's, she's, she's not very popular wow. anywhere, <laughs> and it didn't seem to work out. And um, I don't know, that's been done before on a ticket, you know? I mean, a lot of people... Tulsi would- Gabbard, remember, that was that moment in the debate where she brought up these, that there are uh, men and women in California that are in prison for these, you know, pot deals. And then she was laughing about getting high on the radio station. And it was just like, Tulsi Gabbard was like this heat-seeking missile. That was the end of it. You know, she's got a lot of, in addition to being, for some reason, um, an off-putting person, she (laughs) she also has, I think, a lot of baggage that probably wouldn't do well under a lot of scrutiny. I just think she's a bad politician. And I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't think, I think she's a very bright person, but mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know. Just see, but I can see them doing that because a lot of the problem with Biden being old is, oh, if he dies, then, you know, you're mm-hmm. going to get this person. Okay. So here's the problem with the Democratic Party. They're so boxed in by identity politics that you cannot conceive of a Democratic ticket it doesn't have a woman, person of color on it, and pretty soon you're going to line up behind that gay Latino, and you're going to have to have, you know, a, a deaf Eskimo be the... Uh, <laughs> be the uh, and pause it right there. Pause right there. Bring his face back you. up. Bring Bill Maher's face back up right there. He is so proud of himself. He's like, I got off a good one right there. <laughs> I mean, he should be proud of himself. That was a good one. Yeah, he made a great point because he cho- he chose the press secretary because she was black and she's gay. Right. She chose he chose the Supreme Court appointee. Chose a woman. Yeah, the Supreme Court justice, a yeah. woman, and she's black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He chose a vice president because she was a woman and she's black, and he's hired a lot of like gay people. I mean, over the top gay. I mean, yeah. you could be just gay. Yeah. Right. He not only did that, he did over the top gay people. <laughs> I mean, these people are. I can't even say it because it's. A, can't say it, man. You're gonna be homophobic. <laughs> hey, uh, but he lied about Kamala, though. She's not even black. Yes, sir. yeah. She's one of those red dot Indians. Yeah, with the red dot on the forehead. That's what she is. Yeah, she, her, she's dad, not, her, her dad looks like me. Just for reference, I got my DNA tested. I barely made the cut as an African. It's like fifty-two percent. Her dad looks like me. Her mama is red dot Indian. <laughs> So at best she's probably twenty five percent African. Yeah, that that's that's not enough. At best, <laughs> that's not enough. But they called it that. Why? Because identity politics. That's what they're known for. Yeah. So that's why they pick people because based on their identity, not their qualifications, their identity. Yeah, that's the democratic way. I mean, look at Biden's administration when he took uh, this photo. I mean, look how. I mean. It's a lot of black people, a lot of gay people, a lot of Latino. Like this will be the government in Africa, all these black people. <laughs> I mean, we only make up 10% of the country. Yeah. He, uh, black people is overly represented in his administration. Why? Because of identity politics. Okay, but anyway. I don't think, I, now, I don't. I, I just want to say this. Now, if, if he picked those people because they're qualified, That's then great. I take that statement away. But I'm thinking he wants those people on his staff because they're, they're, they're people They're not qualified. Called. The judge he picked. He might be qualified. No, they ain't. He might be qualified. Let me say something. The judge she picked. She's definitely she, not qualified. She doesn't, she doesn't even, even know what a woman is. Hey, why are you still in my thunder? No, I just I, I had to get I had to get that out there. I'm still in your thunder. Everybody already knows that. I was gonna say it. Well, everybody knows. Look at Kamala Harris. Chose her because she was so called black. Look how dumb she is. She's not dumb. She's not a good politician. No, she's dumb. No, man, dumb is like incapable of thinking. <laughs> She well, can think. She slept her way to the top. 
Okay, I get it. Takes a lot of brains to do that. Okay, but when Bill Maher said this, stuff, I just I just killed a joke right there, and it just went right over your head. Just went right over your head. Sarcasm. Just went right over your head. Did you even know what I just said? No. What you say? It takes brains to sleep your way to the top. I heard it. Yeah, I got that. That's that was a good one. It wasn't good as Bill Maher's though. Yeah, it's not good as Bill Maher, but it's still a good one. <laughs> hey, um, so when he said this, Bill Maher pissed off the left. I mean, like uh, Roland Martin, he's the left. It's a black dude. <laughs> it pissed him off. Check this dude out. Yeah, he loves wearing African clothes. <laughs> you know, it is like Bill Maher, you know, who now, you know, you know, remember early on, we saw all these attacks on Vice President Kamala Harris. But now Bill Maher decides to open up his big ass mouth. What are you and he wearing? decides to say, oh, my God, Biden should replace Vice President Kamala Harris because she's such a failure. Um, she's a failure. R- really, Bill? Um, I don't think so. How do you not know that? How tone deaf you got to be to not know Kamala Harris is a complete, utter failure? Nobody likes her, but you don't know that. Black people don't even like her. But Roland Martin, he seems to love her. You and your African shirt. Where you get that at? Party City? (laughs) I think it's so, it's just, when I see black people dressed that way, like they African, living in America, trying to get back to their roots, it just looks so pitiful. It looks dumb because you're not African. I mean, Africans would tell you that themselves. Yeah, you're not African. Stop wearing that shit. So you can be African just wearing African garb. Yeah, That makes you African. You know what that is? Cultural appropriation. (laughs) You're not African. Stop disrespecting Africans. You'll be so much better off if you just went and got you a Christmas sweater with the face of Bill Cosby on it. (laughs) You'll look so much better. That's how horrible you look in that shirt. Because it's a lie. You're not African. Yeah. All right, keep going. Next video. Bad politician. Yep. Do you know who is the most effective person for the White House right now? Who? In talking about the Dobbs decision and Roe v. Wade in the political co- context? Who? Vice President Kamala Harris. Bitch, you crazy as hell. Do you know who played a significant role in pushing Biden on the student Loan debt relief. Vice President Biden. Vice President Harris. Wow, he well, messed he it said up. Vice President. <laughs> <laughs> you know why Biden did all that stuff? He was just claiming because of the far left of the Democratic Party. That's who's running the Democratic Party. Yeah. It's the far left. You know the people that say men can uh, have babies. Yeah, women. Men, men, men can compete against females. Yeah, that's yeah. that's 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 who's that's who's pushing Kamala Harris too. Yeah. Neither one of those two imbeciles are doing anything for this. It's the far left. It's like the squad of the Democratic Party and all these crazy people who support support Bernie Sanders. That's who's pushing them to do that. Yeah. Because if they don't, they're going to lose their vote. Yeah, those things you just said was just a total, flat-out lie. Tone deaf. Yeah. Tone deaf. I mean, even... Another word. Oblivious. Yeah, even worse a tone deaf than you wearing that damn shirt. That shit look hot as hell, too. Yeah, it looks hot. That shit like, look like it's made out of burlap. <laughs> Potatoes. Uh, potato. Uh, uh, the, the that bag. shit like it's made out of a potato bag. <laughs> you, you buy those potatoes? You can't even. Bag? That's how hot that shit looks. You can't even iron that damn shirt. You just wash it and hang it up. <laughs> He's got like two holes right here. <laughs> you see the two. The, like, <laughs> you see the two holes. Shit like it's made out of leather. I mean. Like it's made out of gold or something you put in the fabric. It's you shiny. know what you look like? Eddie Murphy when he was trying to pretend to be African. That's what you look like. What, coming to America? Yeah, that's what you look like. You look like a black person <laughs> pretending to be from Africa. That's what you look like. I don't even think Africans wear that. Yeah, probably, Africans in Africa on the news got shows like you. <laughs> they're not wearing that. They're wearing Nike, Adidas. They're wearing suits like <laughs> other white people do when they're on the news. Yeah, only you black woke fools in America's wearing that shit. <laughs> All right, keep going. There's some more videos, man. Now, did she have a rocky... Can you pause it? First, pause it. I hate when people shave that beard like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, baby, you were supposed skinny. to go under the jawline. Yeah, I mean, if you were skinny, you can do that John B. look. But you ain't skinny. You got all that damn neck hanging. You could have very easily grew that damn beard and covered all that shit up. <laughs> 
And there you are with your damn chest hair coming out that damn ugly ass African dog you got on. You looking crazy as hell right now. You look like an American fool. <laughs> you don't know how to line up your beard and you wearing African shit. <laughs> I, um, hey, you think Kamala Harris is doing a great job? You actually think that? All right, calm down. We got another video. Calm down. Calm Man. down. Now, did she have a rocky first year? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy as hell. You crazy as hell. Rocky first year, her whole time there has been rocky. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't rocky. call it Rocky, man. I call it an explosion. <laughs> Shit blew up. No, Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes that woman but you. <laughs> and the only reason why you defended her because you think she's black. That's the only reason why you defended her. She's about as black no. as you are African, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you crazy as hell wearing that African shit. <laughs> hey, um... All right, keep going. I was going to say something, but... Bill Maher said all the Democrats have boxed themselves in by identity politics. This is the favorite phrase of white liberal slash progressive men like Bill Maher. What? Because these white men don't like the fact that they no longer are plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D. <laughs> Let me say it again. Why fear ain't Bingo, just pause it right about there. why concern. I see right this there. African nigga selling a book. <laughs> see, that's the whole, this was his biggest motivation because he's selling this book, White Fear. <laughs> that's probably what pushed him to do this segment. Yeah. He's pushing this book. See, it's got Roland S. Martin on it. <laughs> It's got a white fur on that bitch. <laughs> Look at this damn beard. It's still not in the... Hey, hey, man. Hey, he's saying um, identity politics is yeah, a liberal up. talking point? White liberal talking point? That, yeah. that what you get said about Bill Maher is what y'all use for white conservatives. Yeah. That's what conservatives say. Liberals don't say that shit. We've been saying that. It's all about identity politics. That's not a liberal thing. Yeah, but what Roland Martin is saying, <clears throat> what he just said about yeah. Bill Maher... Uh -huh. It's what he typically says about white Republicans. Oh, he's he's he's, he's twisting things around. Yeah, to suit his narrative, so he can sell that crap ass book of his. Yeah, it didn't sell when he's talking about white Republicans. Now maybe I can get him to buy this stupid book. <laughs> Push it on Bill Maher. Bill Maher is like he's just, a he's liberal. A liberal. I think a while there he was starting to go left, but then he was like, wait a minute, these people are crazy. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was trying to keep up. He, you know, you know, trying to keep up with the Dem Democrat Party is like, you know, running a race. All the liberals in one group. Yeah. And then the liberals, I mean, the, the people the Democratic Party running all together, they all think the same. Then they start going farther left. And the people's like, man, I can't keep up with this shit. <laughs> now, uh, this, this is Bill Maher. Hey, going look, to the back, man. Just going to the back. Now, this is Bill Maher. What? We're going left some more, okay? All right. All right. I'm trying to keep up. Uh, 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 Y'all going left some more, okay? Uh, uh, Y'all going left some more? Wait a minute. That shit's crazy. Wait a minute. I'm just going to fall back here. My friend, right. I'm going to run back over here. Yeah, I'm going to run you right to the... You crazy. Bill Maher said all the Democrats have boxed themselves in by identity politics. This is the favorite phrase of white liberal slash progressive men like Bill Maher. Because these white men don't like the fact that they no longer are plan A, plan B, plan C, and plan D. <laughs> Let me say it again. White fear black people ain't in the back just back. about white conservatives. Yeah, black people in the show just as dumb as he was. <laughs> white fear is also about white liberals, white progressives, because the operative word is white. So what Bill Maher says here, oh, they're getting boxed in by identity politics, Bill Maher refuses to recognize that whiteness is identity politics. No, it's not. <laughs> you trying to def defeat the, the, the argument Bill Maher said that identity politics is boxing in liberals, I mean, boxing in Democrats, while you had simultaneously using identity politics to sell your book. Yeah. 
You know, Roland, you crazy as hell. Bring up a screenshot from one of the videos. You see in the back, in the right corner, it's got Black Star. What? Look at that, Black Star. Where's Imagine that? Imagine if Fox News put in that corner, in the top right-hand corner. <laughs> well, Fox News had White Star in the front, <laughs> up there. Identity politics. Everything's race about you guys. Everything's about race. Yeah. Um, Bill Maher made comments about Ka- Kamala Harris that's easily proven. Yeah. Through evidence. Yeah. Through Biden's own words. I'm going to choose a black woman as my vice president. I'm going to choose a black woman for the Supreme Court. He chose a lot of, I mean, everything's based on race. I don't have anything wrong in conservatives, liberals. Nobody has anything wrong with you picking a person of color or a female if they're qualified. But if the main reason why you're picking that person because their gender and because of their color, that's just wrong. That's yeah. identity politics. Yeah. I mean, if you, let's say I'm picking someone who's qualified, who's this, who's that. Yeah. And they're black and female. All that other shit he, uh, Biden said why he's picking someone, mm. you can start out the winner because you're picking them because she's black and mm. she's female. Yeah. If white person does that, white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roland, you got your black star on your on your video. You're wearing your African dashiki, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Everything is based on race. You're using identity politics for your show. That's the only reason why you have that show. It's you based s- on telling politics. You're selling that book. Because of identity politics. You're, everything you say is based on race because you're looking at life through a racist lens. Everything's black and white with you. It's not that way on the conservative side. The only people that's using political, that's using identity politics is Democrats. We could yeah. care less who our president is, what yeah. color he is, if it's a female or not. We don't care about that nonsense. Yeah. All we care about is their policies. Yeah, objectivity. The word for the day here is objectivity. You don't have any. You're just biased and yeah. you weren't. African shit in America. I mean, I'm telling you, you look like Eddie Murphy and come to America. Everybody knew you wasn't African. That's what, when people see you, you're not African. They already know that. <laughs> that was a damn good show. To watch some more damn good shows, click the links on the video or the link in the description box. And everybody in the comments section below, let us know how much you think Roland Martin paid for that shirt at Party City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm putting nine ninety nine. <laughs> shit, that shit was on sale. Six ninety nine. <laughs>